Hi guys, I'm excited to see you. Today we're going to be painting our tarantula spider webs. Now last time we got to go see a real live tarantula. One thing I want to mention is that tarantulas do not build webs. Remember, they burrow underground. But I thought it might be fun to add a spider web to our tarantula because it's around Halloween and we might be in the spirit of doing something a little bit crazy for this art project. Tarantulas can be very scary little creatures, but oftentimes they're more afraid of us than we are of them. Today we will be finally adding paint to our spider web fraction webs. There are some things I expect that you picked up on the way in. The first thing that you should have found is a placemat. You should have found your artwork. If you did not create artwork last time, that's okay. I will get you started before we start painting today. A paintbrush, a paper towel, which you are not touching. In a moment, I will pass out the water and you should see a watercolor tray in between you and your partner that you'll be using today. Before we talk about the painting, please make sure that you are not touching your paintbrush or your paper towel, leave them flat. We're gonna hear some from some of my friends about the tarantula. Let's sit back and relax for Colin's Tarantula Show. Hello, this is the show about the tarantulas. <laughs> Colin, where do tarantulas live? In the forest. Colin, but what about tarantulas in the rainforest? Can you find them there? Tarantulas are found in the rainforest. Hey Jonah, what happens if I touch a tarantula's fur? The hairs on their body will hurt you. Hey yo, Matthew, what big animals do tarantulas eat? Some tarantulas eat birds. Hey Gabriel, do tarantulas have babies? Let wait. Tarantulas lay eggs. Now Skylar, I know that tarantulas are more afraid of us than we are them, but are all people afraid of tarantulas? Some people are afraid of tarantulas. Okay guys, let's talk about the art. So today you're gonna to be using your watercolor paints and you're gonna be sharing with the person next to you. Today, it's up to you what kind of colors you want to do for your web. Some people prefer one color all over. Some people prefer to do the whole rainbow. I might even try that. My expectation for this project is that you completely cover your spider web. Now it's gonna be impossible for you to do it today. I want you to take your time. Don't try to rush this. This will take two days to finish painting, and then we'll start attaching our 3D tarantula. Today, I want you to think about what colors you could use. I'm gonna start with this red. If you wanted to, you could start with any color. Remember, you dip in the water, let it drip, and then swirl around the paint. So I'm gonna start with this red, and I'm gonna put it right here. Now, I could go on and do even more, but I wanna switch colors because I wanna show you how to do it. Whenever you switch colors, you dip, let it drip, dab. No, not this kind of dab, this kind of dab. Just like when you get out of a bathtub or shower, you have to dry your hair. Be very, very kind to Mr. Paintbrush's hair. Please don't jam him like this across the paper. It makes the hairs fall out and I have to buy new brushes. Now that I'm ready for the orange, I dip, let it drip, and I'm going to swirl until I get the nice orange that I want. The more that you swirl, the darker your color will be. So I'm gonna put a little bit of orange. Now I'm gonna do the yellow. The yellow is always the one that gets ruined by people first because people don't like to clean their brush. I know that my first graders will because kindergarten still has a problem with that. Dip it in the water, swirl, let it drip, dab. No, not this dab, this kind of dab. Dry off your brush. Dip, let it drip, and then you can go into that yellow without having to ruin, ruin it or worry about ruining it. And then you can, of course, put the color where you want. As you're going, fill these up with different colors. These are the parts. Fill up your whole picture. Try your best, please don't rush, and have fun, guys. I'm excited to see what your paintings will look like. If for some reason you do finish today, use your paper towel to clean your table. You can throw it away. We have two trash cans, one here and one somewhere over there. You're going to close your paint tray, take your artwork and put it on the drying rack. So the drying rack should be over here. Remember we put artwork on the bottom. 
if both you and your partner are done, you can take the paint tray. You're gonna follow the green arrows, green arrows, green arrows, green arrows, green arrows, and put it back here on the back counter. Or if you and your partner are finished, or you're sitting alone, that's okay, and you are done, follow the green arrows with your water cup and your paint brushes inside. So if both you and your partner are done, you'll have two. If it's just you, it's one, and just place it in the sink. That's all you have to do. Don't worry about cleaning that out. Once you've done that, you can start a new activity. In order to make sure that you guys aren't rushing to finish the painting, I'm only allowing the free draw blocks or cubes today. I'm not allowing the marker boards or iPads because I don't want you guys to rush. Maybe we can have those next time. But today it's just gonna be free draw, cubes, or blocks.